Hey, thanks, Ben. Now, with the Olympics just three weeks away, London is the place to be. And for the second year in a row, I am co-hosting Canada Day from right here in Trafalgar Square. Headley's here, Our Lady Peace is here, and lots of proud Canadians. Hands up in the sky like this. This looks like Canada Day in Ottawa. That's, you know, it's like this many people and like, so it's really cool. What are you anticipating when you get up on stage? I had no idea there's this many Canadians in London. I look back on all the incredible things that happened to us when we were starting the first five or six years, and I don't remember anything, and I'm, I'm bummed about that. So now it's about enjoying something like this, like, you know, playing in front of whatever, 65,000 people on Canada Day in London. I'm gonna take it all in. This is the best way to kick off a July 1st that uh, I think we've ever had, man. This is yeah. great. Go Canada. Yeah. F yeah. And another exciting event to look forward to, the Summer Olympics. Do you have any words of wisdom to the young athletes that are, you know, about to embark on their life's journey? Just know that we're cheering for you and, and, and you know, we want to see you do well and you're part of, of a cultural event that's bringing people together and that's something to be proud of. Do the same thing you did at the last Olympics. You know, 16 gold medals. 20 would be even better. <laughs> no On the podium. On oh that podium. You know, you just want to stay true to yourself and you got to believe in you. And after everything else, remember that it's all about your heart. And if you don't win, don't come home. And on that patriotic note. <laughs> Tomorrow on eTalk, I will be in Liverpool celebrating 50 years of the Beatles.